let's look at the number that you're familiar with, 1,235. 1,235. The structure of this number is this. Your far right, we have the ones place, and the digit five is in the ones place. That means we have five ones. We have the tens place, next. The digit in the tens place means we have three tens. Then we have the what? Hundreds place, you're right, hundreds place. And how many hundreds do we have? The digit in the hundreds place is two. This means we have two hundreds. And then we get to the thousands. This is the thousands place. The digit in the thousands place in this number is one. Okay, so those are the symbols for the number 1,235. This is called the standard notation. This is because this is the way we write the numbers. Standard. You need to write that down in your notes. Standard notation. Okay, and this is the standard notation. And now let's look at the words. The words. The words for this number would be one thousand. Two hundred thirty-five. Now those will be the words. These, this is the standard notation for the number and the words. to look at the structure for a large number so we can see just how it's set up. There is a structure. For each grouping, you have ones, tens, hundreds, which makes it very easy to read numbers and to write them. Let's write a few more no, digits up here. Bring it down a little bit more. And look at how these are grouped. This is a grouping. Ones, tens, hundreds. The next group is the thousands group. It also has one thousand, ten thousand. Then what? Hundred thousand. Okay, hundred thousand. And I may have digits here. Four, six, five. The next grouping is millions. It has three components, just as the one thousand millions. These are your millions. These are your one millions. Your what? Ten millions. And your hundred million. So if we were to read this number, we would say, we would read each grouping just as you would a three-digit number. 298. The group is millions, 298 millions, 465,000, 235. Those would be the words for that large number. And of course, we can expand on and on and on. But what you need to see is that in each grouping of the numbers, you have what? Three parts, ones, tens, hundreds. The next group, thousands. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. The next group, million, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. Okay. It's important that you know how to read numbers and how to write the numbers in standard notation. It's very important that you know how to do that.
it becomes a part of your reading of material. If you don't know how to read the numbers, you see the numbers in the newspaper, magazines, or whatever, or you work with them in problems, you need to know how to read them. You need to know how to read them in a textbook. So this is very important that you learn how to read the numbers. And you need practice in doing this. So on your practice sheet, you can, you should try the problems on your practice sheet. Writing uh, word names for numerals that are given and also the standard notation. And notice I said numeral. I said numeral because numeral is the actual name of the number. But we'll use them probably interchangeably because that's the way we discuss them. But technically, numeral is a name for the number. And there are many different numeration systems. And the numeration system that we have here and that we use is called the Hindu Arabic system. And in the Hindu Arabic system, as I said before, the important thing here is that you have position of the digit tells the value of the digit. We have two hundred here. That's the value of the digit two here. But we have a two over here. And what is the value of the two over here? Two hundred million. What's the difference? The position in the number. And you have to learn those positions. Now, another thing that is very important with whole numbers is that you need to know how to write the number not only in standard notation, but you need to know how to write it in what is called expanded notation. In expanded notation, we write the sum of each of the digits to form the total number. Okay, so we will take a look at that.